guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to run a private Rust Station Branch server. First go to Google, type Steam CMD, download, click on the first link, then select number one, download Steam CMD, and then number two, click on the link. It'll give you a zip file. Now that we have the exe downloaded, let's go ahead and create a folder. Doesn't matter where you place it, I'm just going to place mine in my C drive. Create a new folder, name it Steam CMD. Now take the zip file and extract it into the Steam CMD folder. All right, next, open the Steam CMD and launch the EXE. You'll begin downloading and updating the most recent Steam CMD files. Once it's updated, go ahead and type login space anonymous, press enter. Now we're going to create another folder. Let's put it on our desktop for easy access. We'll name this folder Rust car staging branch double click on the folder and then highlight the folder directory copy head back over to your steam cmd prompt and type force underscore install underscore dir space paste press enter and then you want to type app underscore update space 258550 space minus beta space aux01. Press enter. You'll begin downloading the files for the Rust car staging branch. Depending on your internet and computer specs, will determine how fast this process go. I want to keep this short, so I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video. Alright, once Steam CMD is finished installing, you can go ahead and type quit. And now you have all the files to run the Rust car staging branch. We're not done yet. Next, we'll want to create a text document. And just name this start for now. Down below in the video description, I'll have a copy and paste version of this bat file. That way you don't have to sit there and type it out yourself. Once you've done that, select save as. Make sure you select all files. And then file name type start.bat. Go ahead and hit save. And you'll notice now that in your Rust car staging branch folder, you now have a dart bat file. Okay, with that established, let's head back over to Steam. Here we have regular Rust, and underneath you should see Rust staging. Go ahead, right click, select properties, click betas, and the first option, the drop down tab, you're going to be on none, but you want to select aux01. Once you've done that, go ahead and let the update begin. I've already downloaded it. It might be bigger because I did this video a couple of days ago.
but once you're finished downloading the update go to your rust hard staging branch file and launch the start bat file once again depending on your computer specs this determines how fast your server will begin to load So your first time launching a private server, you might have a firewall permission come up. Go ahead and allow access and your server will continue loading up. This is just like loading into a server for the first time. That's basically what the Steam CMD is doing. Once you get this text at the bottom, that means your server is up and running. server up and running we can go ahead and launch rust staging branch I want to make this short so I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the next part all right you might have this bug as well go to your options and make sure your graphics is set to where you had them and then make sure you don't press play make sure you don't press play game instead press F1 type connect space localhost colon 28015 that's how you connect to your server uh, I'll put that down in the description and once you're in you're gonna have to do one one, one more thing as you can see no clip doesn't work it just means you're not the admin of your server so go ahead and click on your profile then up here in the URL you want to highlight the 17 digit code here so go ahead highlight copy it then go back to steam CMD prompt type owner ID one word space copy paste in the digit 17 digit space and then give yourself a nickname and now you'll see added owner undy for this to take effect I will need to disconnect from the server and reconnect so go ahead and disconnect press F1 type well instead of typing if you hit the arrow key up it will show previous text that you've written and doing that we can just reconnect to our server Now that we're in, we should be able to type no clip, and we should be flying. All right. Okay, we are now the admin of our server. Here's a few key binds that you should use: bind space p space no clip, and then type bind space o space ent space kill. The no clip allows you to toggle flying on and off and the nth kill allows you to delete entities or building blocks um, this does not have to be bind to P and O you can bind it to anything that you like another helpful admin command is making sure your god space true this will make you invincible and since this is since this is the rust car staging update let's go ahead and go to the road ah here we go right away we've got a vehicle so there you go guys Few more things I want to add is if you're getting ready to exit your server, type write CFG. That'll save all your key bonds that you've written for your private server. And then type save. This will save all all building blocks that you've done. And then if you want to exit, just type quit, and it'll shut down your server. Alright, and lastly guys, since this update is going to be out for a month, you may have to update your server. So what you do is just go ahead, download the recent update that came out, 
Once that's done, go ahead and open up your Steam CMD, run Steam CMD, and like we did in the beginning, type login space anonymous, press enter. Then we have to tell Steam CMD where we want the folder, so go ahead and type force underscore install underscore dir. Go ahead and get go to your Rust car staging branch folder and highlight the folder directory, copy it, go back to your Steam CMD prompt, and now paste, paste it in the directory. Press enter. Now type in app underscore update space 258550 space minus beta space aux 01 hit enter and now you'll begin downloading the update for your private server once that's finished go ahead and type quit and you can launch your your private server and that's it everyone that's all it takes to run your own private rust car staging branch server this could open doors if you want to now host your own private modded server or your private your own private vanilla server so you can experiment and experience things on your own terms there is maintenance that comes with this you know with updates you have to update every time but overall it's just a fun way to experience new things yourself all right and lastly guys i want to give a shout out to rustified and the YouTube user SRT Bull. Between these two, the Rustified, how to host your own Rust dedicated server, and SRT Bull's very descriptive videos has really helped me create the video I'm releasing today. So I just want to give a shout out to Rustified and SRT Bull. If you guys want in-depth in detail on how to run your own Rust server, I highly recommend checking out and subscribing to SRT Bull. But until the next video, guys, peace. Damn, that feels good. <laughs>